Hey there guys, uh, welcome back to the video. I know today's video is another Duel Links video, but you know, I've been having fun with this deck and I just want to make a quick video about it. Uh, you know, people largely don't play Magnet Warriors anymore, but you know, I, I guess I made a variant that is decently fast that can play somewhat well against meta decks. Uh, I mean, as of right now, I'm missing two cards. I'm missing the field card and the trap card. If I had those, then my deck would be complete and it would actually play much, much better. But as of right now, I don't have them and the deck still plays relatively well. And the reason you only play one of each Magnet Warrior is so that you can deck them faster. And you play Valkyrion because it's an alternative to Berserkion, which uh, helps you in most situations where, you know, Berserkion just can't run over certain monsters or you just need a monster to set up for some defense. And of course you run Block Dragon because it protects your monsters, but you most likely won't ever summon it or you won't ever draw into it most of the time. And you run Triple Delta so that you get materials for Berserkion, but also it's to help you thin your deck faster. You run Block Golem to help you recover cards and to play well defensively and recover cards. And sometimes you can even potentially summon Valkyrion off of Block Golem if your setup is correct. And with Doki Doki, Downbeat, and Trans Modify, you pretty much don't need to play Grasslick Screener because Grasslick Screener is actually terrible for this deck. You can potentially mill Berserkion or Valkyrion and pretty much you have no way of recovering them. And with that, Trans Modify summons one level higher, Downbeat summons one level lower, and Doki Doki summons a monster that is the same level. It can even be the same name. And your play extenders are Earth Art, because Earth Art tributes a monster, summons one from the grave, except the tributed monster, <coughs> which plays into Delta. So you can potentially have Delta, and then you mill whichever magnet you want. You activate Earth Art, you bring that magnet out, that magnet activates its effect, and then you can activate it again to get another delta on your opponent's turn and you mill another one and if done correctly you get Berserkion on your turn. And the reason why I'm using King Golem is just because of the 500 attack but with this deck most of the time you never attack either way it's just more there to help you run over certain stuff when you actually need it. This is an important duel, because at this duel, uh, my opening hand is the perfect hand that you could possibly open for this deck. Because I summon Delta, I mill Gamma, I activate Downbeat, I send Delta to the grave, I summon Beta, Beta searches Alpha, and I set Earth Heart, and it goes to my opponent's turn. Now my opponent's playing 6M, I activate Beta uh, on his summon. Just in case he has something like dual wheel. And as Delta, Delta mills Delta. I activate Earth Heart immediately so he doesn't go into Sheehan. Summon Gamma. Gamma goes into Alpha. Alpha's effect activate. It searches Berserkion. Now he activates Hand's effect to target Gamma. Gamma goes to the grave. Gamma summons Gamma. Summons Sheehan. Now with this next part right here. I, for me, technically I should have summoned both of my Magnet Warriors in attack, but I kept them in defense just so I wouldn't take damage, just in case he had something. And with this, I summon my Beta, I banish all three Magnets, summon Berserkion, Berserkion, 
destroys his back row. Whereas again, you destroy Sheehan, Sheehan protects itself. I destroy Sheehan again, Sheehan is protected. And destroy Sheehan for the last time. <laughs> and pretty much my opponent rage quits after this. Right here is pretty similar to the other one where I open up a decently good hand and my opponent just immediately scoops after. Because with this, I summon my beta, search for my alpha, and you know, they cosmic my face down, but it's fine. I activate beta to go into delta, delta dubs gamma, and delta gets destroyed. And during this turn, I draw down B. I summon an alpha, I activate transmodify, I summon another delta to mill the last delta, and then I activate down B to summon block golem just to potentially summon more monsters back and my opponent scoops because at this point they realize that they have nothing to respond to berserking on with. Alright, uh, it's still right here. Uh, there's nothing too much to note about it outside of my opponent using Shirinui and they're playing a 30 card variant because this is again where I said no. You playing a 30 card deck stops a lot of other decks. So potentially if my opponent had grass in their hand, their grass was a dead card. But more than likely, I don't think they had grass, they probably had something else. But still on top of this, uh, you know, that King Olam basically came out of nowhere and I was able to run over his monster. But even with that, uh, I was able to, I guess, pull into a decent, you know, extension on their turn because with Earth Heart, I was able to summon my Gamma back. And with Gamma being summoned, its effect activates on top of, you know, its effect being able to dodge the destruction from his card. Like, that was the important part right there about that because, I guess, Earth Heart sort of helps you dodge stuff like that if you ever need it. But along with that, I'm able to extend into a Berserkion. Right here, I don't immediately win because I had to use up my normal summon, so I was only able to do 3,000 damage. But with this, you know, because I drew into a conversion, I'm able to recover. And I banish my conversion, I summon my beta, I grab my alpha, and this is one of the rare moments where I'm able to summon a Valkyrion properly and with that I destroyed his monster and it's game uh, just to quickly run over this game this game goes on for a while because my opponent is purposefully stalling out the game uh, they're just doing this to run down the timer so that I lose through time but along with this uh, you know it's also Maybe because my opponent doesn't understand how to play their deck. They could have actually won quite a few times early on, but it seems as though they don't understand how to use their cards. So they missed a lot of combos on top of that. Uh, you know, I didn't attack a lot of times where I should have attacked, mainly because I was afraid that my opponent had a fusion monster that is unaffected by... Uh, your opponent's cards when it attacks but turns out my opponent didn't have this fusion monster so if they had that they probably would have won earlier on and the deck that i'm using in this game isn't actually the same deck that i'm using in other games this is this deck just has a few different cards that i was testing out just to see if they were good or not but aside from that this game it just drags on because my opponent just tries to stall me out and win through time. But even with that, I actually managed to win, but with only 10 seconds left, uh, which sucks incredibly, sucks incredibly bad, badly, but you know, I was still able to win. <laughs> you know, even if it was only uh, within 10 seconds, you know, and you also notice that he bounces my Berserkion back to my hand, but because I'm able to, I guess, hold out long enough because my opponent misplays a lot. I'm actually able to summon my Berserkion out twice in order to win 